There always has been the Aesop's Fable approach to college sports, and college football in particular, from day one. There was some romantic notion of football played in the fall, with a festive and party atmosphere taking place in the parking lots and in the stands. The sports writers and TV narrative has always been college kids playing for the love of the game, giving it all on the field for the school and how college football builds character, and the coach is the grand master of design and leadership. But college football is also an ugly business, where players are pieces of disposable meat, and the industry hides behind the student-athlete tag to create an impression of amateurism. But the student-athlete designation is really there to keep the athletes from being compensated and to hold the institutions harmless from having to pay out long-term benefits to players who suffered long-term injuries because they volunteered to play with the hopes of getting a college education in exchange for their sports playing services. Charles Walker has upset the apple cart. The University of Oklahoma defensive lineman has decided to leave the team after another concussion and concentrate on getting ready for the NFL draft. It is understandable Walker has decided not to risk an injury by playing football for Oklahoma and harming his NFL chances. Predictably, his defensive coordinator, Mike Stoops, called Walker a quitter. Walker is also selfish. Walker has not played since the first week of October and will miss the remaining games. Walker is looking out for himself, which goes totally against the grain of college football, but college football has a brutal truth to it. Very few college players, football, basketball, or other sports, become pros. The rest come and go, while everyone makes money off of them. Walker's decision is awful. He did what is best for him, not college football or his high-salaried coaches. I'm Evan Weiner for the Politics of Sports Business.